If you wish to make a simple little travel intro like I had just done, simply go to Google and look for planes and then use the format PNG and scroll down until you see the plane that you like. Now obviously I end up using this one. Now once you have this one, you just right click and then just go save image as and just make sure it does have a .png and then you're good to go. And then we're going to transport that or import that I should say into Crow Video Studio. Next on the list, you're going to need some form of picture of to where you're going. And for me, I just picked a Palm Beach and I dropped it into the timeline already. And the third thing you need is some form of overlay. In my case, I used a red square. Now you can use Paint Creator, but I found that a little bit hard to work with. So I just went to Google and just typed in red square in PNG format. Now that we have everything ready, let's go build that little intro. The first thing I want to do is bring in that airplane PNG. Just going to gently drop it here i'm going to right click onto the actual video clip and i'm going to rotate that to the right and then i'm going to adjust it to fit the frame so as you can see it's quite big i'm going to make it really really small to begin with and then i'm just going to gently just work with it so i'm going to first the plane is a little bit fat and now i'm going to try and fit it right across that picture so i'm just going to drag it in a bit like so i'm just going to adjust it now to me that's perfectly fine i'm just going to leave that here don't worry about this, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop this down to the overlay 4. We'll, we'll fix it up in a minute to suit the actual length of the track. And I'm going to bring in the red square. Okay, it's like so. Just adjust that to the time length. And I'm going to move this one until I can see the airplane once again. So I'm just going to go over here. Alright, so what I want to do, I want this red square to basically end up here. So here and here like so because now I have to get two more squares for the angles of the wing so I'm going to bring those two in like so one for the bottom and one for the top I'm going to disable this track here for the time being and I'm going to highlight this track here I'm going to move it across and then at the same time I'm going to resize that right down to here now obviously I want to rotate it but I don't want to rotate it like I did the airplane. I just want to rotate it to this angle. So how do I do that? Very simple. I'm going to go over here where it says custom motion. Click on it once. And I'll make sure it is at the beginning of the timeline. And I'm going to close it again. And this is going to give me a new node up here. That means I can then rotate it. How cool is that? And you're probably wondering, well, why didn't just Corel do that from the beginning? Well, good question. So let's just line that up. And then let's see if we can fit it nicely. Okay, perfect. I'm going to do exactly the same thing with this end. Now, see how it moves because of my preview scrubber? Because I have to do one more thing. I'm going to go back to here. And I'm going to right click on this one here and say copy and paste the all right. Because I want it to be static. So now it won't move. See? Now I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to, un I'm going to hide this clip, bring this one in, and do the exact same thing for the bottom part. So let's do that. Probably a little bit smaller. Uh, highlight it over here press OK and now I can rotate it this way and then bring it across like so and that looks pretty good and again I'm going to go over to the custom motion tab right click copy and paste the all right and press OK and we're looking pretty good here so now I'm just going to adjust all this to fit the length of the, the clip and highlight that now you can see that it is done okay this is very easy to do oh, this one needs to be adjusted like so all right so all we need to do now is make a photo but to do that i don't need this picture in the background so i'm gonna hide that track so it becomes black now i'm going to take a photo like so and here it is if you don't see this little icon it'll be here edit and you'll see take a snapshot okay this is the easy part done or the hard part, I should say, and now I'm going to show you how to work with this. Let's clear everything out and just leave the photo in the main track. And what we're going to do is bring in that new photo we just created earlier. And we're going to put it in the overlay, overlay track number three. Well, actually, we should do it in number four because we have to write two things, okay? First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to stretch it to actually fit the length of the video. And then what I need to do is make a motion to go from left to right. To do that first, I'm just going to move this one slightly off until I see the plane disappear or almost disappear. That'll do me here nice a little bit more. Now I'm going to use the custom motion over here. Let's go click that once. 
custom motion should open up and I'm going to the last keyframe and then all I'm going to do is just move this across so I'm going to use the X position use the slider I believe it's around about the 200 yep perfect I'm going to press OK I have a preview and it should move right across nicely done completely off the track okay now what I need to do is actually remove the black and to do that I'm just going to highlight this here double click go to chroma key check the chroma key box leave the eyedropper on blue hit the black and it should disappear now you'll notice that I also got some transparency in the plane so I'm going to turn down the tolerance until the windows turn black okay perfect and that should do it and that should be nice and easy okay so when I'm about here I'm going to also stretch the canvas slightly so let's uh, bring this back in here about here I think it was yep good highlight that and I'm just going to stretch it out because you'll see later on why I don't want to too stretch that otherwise the plane's going to look funny okay that still looks good all right let's bring in the next one so the red square we're going to pop it onto the first overlay track and then we just need to time it when one is on the other one disappears all right so let's have a bit of a play with that just quick play And one should come across and then the other one should disappear so as you can see it's a little bit early so I'm gonna go across a bit I'm just gonna time it here so that as one comes across the other one doesn't disappear so it's still I still got time I'm gonna stretch it out a bit more probably bring this across a bit more and then lengthen this again so all I'm doing is just basically doing some timing work all right, so it's a still a little bit to go. I can either stretch it, or I can bring the plane a little bit faster and stretch out the duration. Let me play with that so I can get it spot on. We're almost there. Okay, that should do it. Uh, there you go. All right, we're good to go. Sorry about that. So let's have a quick preview. Plane comes on, and then it disappears, and then it reveals the, the island. All right, so all we need to do now is just basically add some titles. So over here, double highlight the title track, double click anywhere, and I'm just gonna type in the word visit. Okay, I'm gonna bring it to the top. Now obviously what I wanna do is create some form of animation. I'm gonna drag it here on the overlap two, and I'm gonna time it as the plane comes on. That should then start to disappear. Okay, around about here. I'm just gonna shorten that a little bit. And it should be nice a little bit more okay that should work all right what I want to do I want to create a, some custom motion on this one either you know fly out or do whatever so I'm going to keep this one highlighted go to custom motion and a different menu will pop up a different window will pop up only for text so what I want to do I'm not going to use the enter work but I want to exit as it comes along it starts to fade or leave or do whatever it wants and I'm gonna make it fly out something here that I could use I'm gonna make it go up press OK and now I should have the word visit and then as my plane gets uh, comes onto the screen it should disappear All right. look at that so obviously I can play with the timing a little bit better but let's just leave it at, at this for now all I need to do now is create one more word and that is being revealed as the plane goes across moves the orange or the red square and it reveals the next text so again we're going to highlight the title track come up here and then we're going to type in whatever we want and I'm going to type in Thailand because that's where I live I'm going to bring it right across about here <clears throat> and that should now look good but I'm going to take this to the overlay overlay track number three and let's have a look at that and it comes across and then that should reveal the text Thailand there you go. I can probably drag it out a bit more. Let's go. And I'm a little bit off here. You can see I'm coming across. So yeah, there's a little bit of a. I can do a bit better there. So just it would gently just add another key for, or another few frames to that one. Perfect. Let's have a look. Oh, I'm going to go into project settings. Otherwise, I'm just going to play it one particular clip over and over again. Visits. 
There we go. Ah, oh, that disappears. The plane comes along and it reveals the word Thailand. Isn't that cool? So there you go. This is a fairly straightforward, simple way to introduce, say, a holiday you went to recently or how to a good cool way that I've seen it was the start of a video of people traveling. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, thanks for joining.